Senator Smith, and that would be Senator Smith, Mr. Graham, Mayor McCrory, and Judge Orr. Senator Smith, you're also a farmer, specifically a cattle farmer. And we know that the last year in particular has not been a good year for farmers or for cattle farmers. Specifically, do you think that agriculture is still critical to the economy of North Carolina? And when farmers do fall on hard times, like the drought has caused in the last year, what kind of help do you think the state should provide? Well, I'd like to challenge the premise of your question. The drought did cause some problems, but I can tell you farmers today are doing well. The tobacco industry in eastern North Carolina is doing better than it's done in a long time since we got the government out of it. Hog prices, corn prices, wheat prices, wheat's almost $10 a bushel, are the best they've been. Soybeans over $10. It's because we've started using those as biomass to create ethanol and biofuels. So I believe farming is doing well. We have our livestock industry in eastern North Carolina is exporting all across the world and is doing well. Farming is the number one economic engine in this state. It is a $60-plus billion industry, double what any other industry in this state is. And it's what brought us to the dance, so to speak, in this government. I would be a strong advocate for our farm families because farming brings a lot of things to this state. It brings dollars. Sure, it brings dollars. It brings a way of life. But what farming brings, I believe, is the values that come off the farm, that go to our cities, and influence our way of life. It's the values that you learn on the farm that I believe help traditionally to have created a great state, and those values are the values that will continue to make us a great state. Thank you. Mr. Graham, do you have any thoughts on farming? Well, I would just like to say that the state really is AWOL on the water issue, and we're going to continue to increase in growth if we believe the statisticians. And I think the primary role of the governor is to make sure that we have consistent, cohesive water use policy. We have to do our bit on the conservation side, but we have to increase supply where possible. We need to enlarge and make better, both quality and quantity, our watersheds and those tributaries up and down from Murphy to Manigault. So water is going to be a huge issue for the farmers on a going-forward basis, as it would be for the general public as well. I agree with Fred. We've got some commodity price pressures on corn and some other sources. We have to be very careful with this, though, because that's going to continue to raise beef prices, hog prices, and chicken and poultry prices, and we have to be careful on the consumer side that we not put too much emphasis on corn and other feedstock that will just pass along an inflationary bubble to you, the buying public. So you have to be very cautious about that, and I want to bring all these issues to the table as governor. Thank you. Mayor McCrory, any farming ideas? Well, one thing, I've talked about taking the politics out of road building, where we ought to emphasize putting the roads where the cars are, where the environmental issues are, where the congestion is, and where economic development needs are. We need to do the same thing with some of the tobacco money that was settled and the golden leaf money. For example, Charlotte shouldn't get any money from that. We should take the politics completely out of that and economic development efforts, and that money should go directly to the farmers in which it was intended to do. And I firmly believe that in all areas of state government. That was part of the trust, those settlements, where a lot of the money actually just went to lawyers, too. The second thing, I do think a governor can play a role. With all respect to my colleagues. The other thing I think we need to emphasize, too, is especially in the metropolitan areas, and yes, including the Asheville area and Hendersonville area, we need to give incentives to the farmers to be able to protect their land so we still have some good open space in major areas. The farming is a very, very important part of our industry in North Carolina. In fact, the green industry is very, very important to our economic development throughout North Carolina, and we need to also make sure that we do preserve good open space, and that means 
that the farmers ought to be given more and more incentives to keep their farm space as opposed to make it a future sprawl for North Carolina. Thank you, Mayor. Judge Orr. Well, I milked my first cow right down the road at Frank Fitzsimmons' farm in my youth. I don't know who was traumatized more, the cow or me. But, uh, yeah. Agriculture is an extraordinarily important part of not only our state's economy, but our national security. I mean, we have to make sure that we have a strong agricultural base in this country so that we're not relying on foreign countries to send food to America. I think we have to make sure that land conservation efforts uh, in many different ways are in place so that we will protect farmland. Let's face it, there aren't near as many apple orchards in Henderson County uh, today as there were when I was growing up here. Uh, we've got to make sure that the property tax pressures on farmers are uh, given the, the proper kinds of relief so that they don't feel compelled to sell. Uh, we've got to make sure that water uh, is adequate. We've got to do a far better job long term in planning for these kind of uh, droughts that we've experienced. Uh, we've got to make sure that farming is and always will be an important part of our culture and our life in North Carolina. 